Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noha Zwani binti Sheikh Dawood. Uh, my question is, is there any relation uh, to women scenes and the disasters happening in this world? So Thank I didn't you. hear your question correctly. Is there a relationship between women? No, uh, human being sins and uh, disasters happen. Ah, this human way. being sins and disaster. Yeah. Sister asked okay. the question that is there a relationship between the sins of the human being and the disaster? Allah says in the Quran in several places that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will test you. Allah says in Surah Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 155, surely we will test you with fear and with hunger or with loss of goods or lives or the fruits of your toil and give glad tidings to those who patiently persevere. This life sister is a test for the hereafter. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Mul chapter number 6 and verse number 2, Allah khalaqal mawata wal hayata. It's Allah who has created death and life to test which of you is good in deeds. So this life is a test for the hereafter. Now whenever any calamity comes on a human being, it can be two things, sister. Either it can be a punishment because of your sin or it can be a test. <coughs> if you have done sins, then that's a punishment. If you are a good human being following the Quran, Allah is testing you, is giving you calamity, giving you a higher test to check whether do you pass a higher test or not. For example, if you pass bachelor's in arts, you get BA. If you pass bachelor's in medicine, you get doctor, DR. To pass a medical bachelor is more difficult than passing a bachelor's in arts, correct? But if you pass a higher test, you get a higher degree. So when a calamity befalls, it's either a punishment because of your sins or it's a test for you. The higher test you pass, the bigger is the reward. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said, the test for the Ambiya, for the Prophet, was the most difficult amongst all the human beings. Because the Prophets are higher than the normal human being. Similarly, any reward you get, it's two things. Any good thing that happens in your life, two, either it's a reward for your good deeds or it's a test. There are many people who do sins and yet they are rich. They are big bungalows. <clears throat> the big Allah is testing them. So if you get some good thing, it's either a reward for your good deeds or it's a test for you. Allah says your wealth and your children are a test for you. Surah Anfal chapter 8 verse number 28. Allah is testing you with wealth. So whenever any calamity befalls, a Muslim says Alhamdulillah. When he goes in prophet, he says Alhamdulillah. When he goes in Lord, he says Alhamdulillah. It's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah is checking you, is testing you that once I give you, now I've given you everything in life, good food, house, everything, and you're praying for Allah, and you're praying to Allah and following. Now when he gives difficulty, do you yet pray or not? Do you yet thank Allah or not? Do you yet follow the Quran or not? <coughs> so if a calamity comes, it can either be a punishment for your sins or it can be a test for you. Hope that answers the question, sister.